Just a heads up, this video is a little longer than usual, so I split it up into chapters so you can skip to whatever part you need. I also wanted to give some credit for the code. Firstly, credit goes to Physics for discovering the actual bug. And special thanks goes out to ZKF on Discord for taking the original code and turning it into the automatic bind that I'll be using in the video. He also helped me out with explaining some of the more technical stuff so that I could relay it on to you guys. All the information will be in the description. Without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into the video. So to start with installing the actual config, I put a download link in the description for this folder here. It'll have your auto exec with all the code in it and then a multi folder, which you should be familiar with. It has a few more things added on. This just helps with the code for the actual pixel surf. Um, just drag this into your config folder. And once you've done that, I'll just run through the code really quickly so you kind of understand what's going on. So this is the auto exec right here. This is everything you need to do a pixel surf. It's short because you're meant to just copy and paste this into your uh, own auto exec, preferably at the top. So just running through the code here, there are two ways to go about it. You can either toggle or hold. First three lines here, these are values. Keep these in mind, we'll use them later. Uh, starting with the aliases, these are the two toggle aliases. When you're changing your bind, if you want to change your bind for the alias, you want to change it here as well as here in the binding section. What happens is when you press it, it toggles on, it plays a little sound, and then when you turn it off, it plays a different sound so you know it's turned off. Next is the hold. So this is the one that I personally use. Uh, you just hold down the button and press the directional keys and that's how that works. Next here, this is what's actually doing the pixel surfing. These are the values that you can change up here. So not one value works for everyone. You'll have to kind of experiment, see which one works for you, which one doesn't. Uh, I personally use 106. I know some people use 104 and some people use 0.05. Though this one really doesn't work like 90% of the time. If it works for you, that's great. If not, no problem. Um, this line of code here is for when you toggle off, so it resets your movement keys. These are some rebinded uh, directional keys so that you can actually use the auto pixel surf. Next we have, you should already be familiar with this, this is just linking things to the multi folder. Um, next is the bindings here, so bind mouse 5 for hold, this is the one that I use. If you want to change this one, you can just change it here and it's all fine. If you're changing your toggle bind, you want to change it here and then you want to go up to the first two lines and change it here and here as well. Afterwards, these are just binding your movement keys and then take these or not if you want. This is pretty cool. Uh, if you just bind jump bug to your mouse wheel up, you can still jump normally in game and it just that's one less button you have to press. Lastly here is the tool volume. So these blips and these bells that are going to be played when you're hitting these buttons, they're loud. So if you, unless you want them turned off, you can set this to zero. Or if you want them louder for whatever reason, you can change this value here. And then I've also added uh, two little lines of code here that just tells you it's loaded and plays a little sound just to make sure that all of this stuff started working properly. Alrighty, so now that you've uh, opened up your game and gone to a private server, just open up your console and exec your auto exec. Now I've already put my code into mine, so it's going to look a little different when you launch it. But now the way to test that you've actually got it set it up properly with the values I was talking about, just head into no clip, hit whatever bind that you set the toggle to. You can also do this with the hold, press it. You'll hear a ding. And then if you press A or D, you'll start automatically walking in that direction. Press the button. You should stop. One more thing you can do to check, make sure it's working when you've actually got it set up. Get on flat ground, enable it, and press a directional key, so A or D. And then take a look at your velocity on the top left when you jump. If it caps out at 67, that means it's working and you're good to go. Okay, so let's actually pixel surf now. This spot here is the best that I found. It's pretty easy to get into, pretty hard to miss. It's basically an imaginary line spanning this whole thing here. 
So with toggle, what you want to do is press Q, uh, enable it. You'll hear the ding. Press a directional key, hold W and crouch. And then the second you start falling, immediately let go of all movement keys and just hold crouch. So it should look like this. And then you'll start glitching up against the wall. Now, the reason there is a toggle is because it gets a little freaky on ladders. That's why I personally use hold. I can't be bothered doing all the time. But that's pretty much how it goes. You just select the key and you go and you hold crouch. Exact same thing goes with holding. The reason I like holding is because I don't like hitting the key a bunch of times. I like just holding it when I'm ready to start doing whatever line I'm trying to hit and then letting go of it right after. So same thing goes, you hold it down, you press the directional key, W and crouch, and you should just start pixel surfing on surfaces. That's pretty much it. It's fairly simple to get a grasp of. It's just a little more difficult to do because a lot of these are invisible. You're not going to see where you're able to do it. And a lot of spots are random. So just keep practicing that. Get used to doing it here first. It's fairly easy. Just hold a button, press it, hold crouch, and you should start hitting it. You can also do these backwards if you are so inclined. Just before I go ahead and I show some spots, uh, these aren't all of them. These are just the ones that I found to be notable. You can pretty much do a pixel surf anywhere where two textures meet. There are some invisible ones like this one here, but generally where the textures are meeting or there's a protrusion in a texture, you can most definitely pixel surf on them. So for example, this one here is one, that one outside there is one uh, here where these textures meet. You can also hit it on here and all of that. So now getting into the places where you can actually pixel surf, as I explained, there's one here. There's also one right here across this vertical line. Another thing to know when you're going for these is the way that you're facing against the wall. These ones here are pretty easy to hit, so you don't need to be looking in any specific direction. But for a lot of the harder ones, you need to be looking a little off to the side or dead center or more towards the wall. So this one here in a straight line, turn it on, press the button, and you can actually jump into it and you'll clip into that one. You can go all across that. 